Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Kinesio Outdoors YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be reviewing a pair of boots. These boots are made by Softstar, and they were not something that I was aware of until I drove by the store on my way to the coast one time. So it was just happenstance. Drove by them, drove by the company. Then I went in, found out that they were shoes that I wanted to try. And after using them for a little over one full year, a few hunting seasons. Uh, I have some things that I really like about them, some things that I don't like as much, some things I've talked to them about and they're not interested in changing. So kind of look forward to that as I get into this video. So these boots, I'll just show one. This is the Soft Star Switchback. And I actually got the Primal, I believe is what they call them, which is their wide. Now I went in and they sized me at a size 10 and a half. So I have been buying size 10 shoes for a long time and having issues with them wearing at the wide part. So kind of where people get bunions of my feet. And I'm wondering if a 10 and a half would have reduced that. I'm now wearing 10 and a half thanks to being fitted at Softstar. Hopefully that helps. Now these switchbacks, there's a few different options now. When I got them, this was the option, uh, this material versus now there's this material and leather. And I need to check my show notes here. But this material is called their super fabric. And the owner, I think her name is Janelle. Uh, when I was looking into buying these boots, she actually pulled out a pocket knife and showed that she couldn't damage boots, which kind of sold me on them. So I really enjoyed that feature about them of how durable the shoes were without really having to do a whole lot to them. So I really like that. They're very, very lightweight and they allow me to move very, very well, like most minimal footwear does. Now, one thing that I really like about these, and when I used these two years ago, two hunting seasons ago, rather, I was comparing these to the Zero Shoes, um, their boots, uh, also not waterproof. And I found that I was enjoying these more because I had more freedom. Now, I played soccer for a lot of years. I rolled my ankle enough times where my ankle is pretty durable now. I've actually trained to have a more sturdy ankle. So I am fine having a lot of flexibility at my ankle. That doesn't bother me. If you're somebody that likes to have that support, you probably don't want to be looking into these boots. Now, with these boots, the laces that they come with, they're fine. I have a little bit of fraying here. To be fair, in the defense of these boots, I've gone through vine maple, blackberries for more miles than I would like to brag about. So these are really, really tough. The laces are pretty good. This super fabric is incredible. I've gone, I've put, I want to say over 150 miles on these um, guiding elk and deer hunting, and they still perform very durably in the sense of they don't have any tears. Now I will say last hunting season, I was hunting in Montana and I had one of these occur. So Try to show you a little closer. So complete separation of the sole to the upper part of the boot. Now that's not a problem. It looks like it can be repaired. I just need to go over to Soft Star next time I'm on my way to the coast, drop these off. They should be able to stitch them up. I don't know their warranty service. They might warranty it. I might have to pay to have them stitch it up. Either way, I'd rather them do it because they made them. They know exactly. They have the machinery set up to stitch these. So I believe they're probably going to do the best job. I love these boots. These might be my favorite boots. They're lightweight. I don't get too hot in them. I have really sweaty feet just in general, which is why I really like lightweight, breathable boots. And this material, although it is hydrophobic, the way these boots are designed, I don't have my feet getting too hot. And I think part of that is because the tongue is not gusseted. Let's see if I can show it here. So the tongue is not attached, which is a pro for my feet not getting too hot. It's also a con hunting in Western Oregon or anywhere where there's like wet grass. So if you're walking in wet grass, this is the grass, water hits, water hits enough and it pushes into the tongue. I'm gonna pull the tongue out here for everybody. It pushes into the tongue and then it pushes around the sides. If the tongue is, I believe the term's gusseted, what would happen is there would actually be material in this area and it would be, you know, a third, two thirds of the way up. So that way, if water hits, that's fine. It's just gonna kind of run down and run, run down and run out the boot, no problem. 
However, because these tongues don't have that feature of these boots, then my feet got wet quite a few times. Um, unfortunate, just the way it goes. It's something that happened, again, walking through wet grass, wet tall grass. If I was walking on like, you know, pretty short grass, if basically if the grass was shorter than the height to this tongue of the boot, shorter than that height, it wasn't a big deal, didn't matter at all. Uh, I could walk through, you know, really minor creeks no issues, and it wasn't a problem at all. However, walking through wet grass was a major bummer. Walking through wet, wet brush, my feet got wet pretty quick. Now, I use these for one and like three quarters hunting seasons, and eventually these guys came out. I think they're just glued in, so that's not really a big deal. Um, I could kind of see there was almost like a double-sided tape applied here, but you can see this got kind of chewed up a bit, probably from a little bit of use for me. It's pretty well molded to my foot now. Um, this held up pretty well. Now, with these minimal shoes, minimal boots rather, I found that for hunting purposes, they are probably my favorite. I've tried three different pairs, zero shoes, boots, uh, Vivo, barefoot. I can't remember which one of theirs I tried. It's a waterproof version. And then these soft star switchbacks. And these boots, I felt I was able to be the quietest. I felt that this material was the quietest. So this is Vibram, which usually is really hard. Think If you think of like Merrell's or uh, my dad likes oboes, it's a really hard and loud material. So if you're walking and you step on things, it's really loud. I found I was able to be quieter with these boots than other boots I wore, other minimal boots, simply because this actually was softer. So I can kind of squeeze this, might be able to see that. I wasn't able to do that with my zero shoes or my uh, Viva barefoot. So if you're really trying to be as quiet as possible, I found that these were the quietest for me. Um, obviously, when you're trying to be quiet, you're going to change the way you walk. You're going to walk maybe heel, toe, heel, side of your foot to toe, toe to heel, however it is. Uh, the benefit of minimal footwear for hunting purposes is you can feel the ground much easier. So you can feel small small twigs, sticks, leave, I should say like rocks, things like that, kind of like gravel. You can feel that so you know what you're stepping on or what is going on under your feet. So you can kind of adjust your weight distribution accordingly. Overall, I really enjoy these boots. I was nervous because they were more expensive than the Zero Shoes. However, I actually like these quite a bit more. Um, when it came time to get a second pair of boots, I did not get another pair of zero shoes simply because I felt like these were doing just fine and I wasn't going to need two pairs of boots. These dried out pretty well. It's wool on the inside. And I was finding that if my feet got wet, if I took these off for a half hour to an hour and it was sunny, I could kind of just prop this into the sun and they dried out pretty quickly, which was nice. Having a change of socks also was really helpful with that. The one downside is this hole here they're probably going to stitch it up i don't know if it'll be a warranty or if i'll have to pay out of pocket but they should be able to stitch it up and it should be pretty close to good as new if i wash these i would imagine people wouldn't be able to tell that they've gone through over 150 miles through blackberries vine maple brush things like that so these so far are my favorite boots the downside is that they are not waterproof because of this tongue. So they can't be labeled as waterproof. This material is extremely hydrophobic, so it repels water. Um, they actually have material in the shop where they'll take the cloth, they'll pour water on it, and the water just sits there. It's fantastic. However, water is going to sneak in through this tongue here. I've emailed them a few different times about it, just talking about different ideas of how this could be really beneficial. You should strongly consider doing this with your product. And in that communication last year, there was very clear language that they were not interested in doing that. Um, they just weren't looking to go that direction with this boot. So it caused me to look towards other boots, which you'll see another video. I got a pair of uh, Vivo Barefoot. I can't remember the name of them right now. I think they were the Rangers. Um, and those were labeled as waterproof. So you'll see another video of me reviewing those as well. But overall, I love these boots, lightweight, don't have the support, but for me, I really enjoyed that. This is also nice if you have a tighter bottom pants. Uh, a new pair of pants that I got isn't really like a large cuff at the bottom. 
So if you have like tighter, not skinny jeans per se, but pants that are just a little bit more slim around the calf, these are going to fit in there versus bulkier boots aren't going to fit as easily. So that's also a benefit of these boots. So overall, love these boots. One downside, not totally waterproof. If you're not hunting in an area that has a lot, lot of water, then it's not a big deal. Um, you will get slightly warm feet with the wool, but I didn't notice I was like overheating with my feet, you know, sweating through socks, things like that. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on this video or feel free to shoot me a DM on Instagram. My Instagram is at Kinesio Outdoors, all one word. It's the same as this YouTube channel title. So any questions, feel free to let me know. I'm happy to help you out, discuss why I chose these boots or why I enjoy wearing minimal footwear. But that's going to be it for this video, everybody. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.